Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're going to make something cute tonight. So I'm going to make sure my elf legs are going the right way. <laughs> so hey, say hey once you hop on and if you're watching replay, thank you for watching and my elf leg is doing something funny. Hello people, there's some eyeballs. What is my elf leg doing? It's not wanting to hang on my ear right. What is it doing? Trying to get my elf leg to hang right. <laughs> hey, Lenora. Hey, Luann. Hello, y'all. Hello, hello. I was trying to get my elf leg to make sure I had the left and the right on the right, <laughs> on the correct ear. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Esther. How are y'all? Hey, Tina. Yay. So we are going to craft. I'm excited I get to craft twice today. Hey, Tina and Kathy and Brenda. Yay. So we are going to use some Dollar Tree stuff. Um, we're going to make a sled. Hey, Christine. Hey, Brenda and Brandy. Thank you, Brandy and Patty. Hello, all my friends. I'm excited. I crafted earlier today, and I made this tray. And um, Stacy with Wilshire Collections, I made that in her group. Um, yay, you get the trees. And if you didn't get the trees and you're worried about the trees, I've already, <laughs> the minute they sold out, um, I got on and ordered more candlesticks. So I will restock them, okay? So don't worry. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Carla. Hey, Kim. Um, so yeah, they sold out really fast. <laughs> and believe me, there was a lot of trees. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so, hey, Joanne, hey, Vicki, Rhode Island, hey, Susan, welcome to my page, hello, welcome, welcome, um, there's a lot of sweet people on here that support me, and they're just sweet people, and just, you'll like it here, just because of the people are so, so super nice, um, hey, Tina, yay, you got your trees, Hey, Susan. Hey, Cindy. It's Cindy's first time watching. Yay! Welcome, Cindy. Welcome to my page. I hope you like what you see, and I hope you give me a follow. I would love that. Hey, Mary from Petal. I'm from Meridian, Mississippi originally, and I'm in Hernando, Mississippi, so we're kind of like neighbors. Hey, Linda. That tray is amazing. What tray? Tray. Oh, that tray. Yes, I was thinking, what tray? Um... Lynn, I will be restocking them. I just have to wait for the candlesticks to get here. Um, and I ordered a ton of them. The first time I ordered them, I sold the company out and they had to restock. <laughs> so, um, so they got them now. And, um, hey, Susan, I am. I hope y'all are having a good day too. It's Thursday. I hope y'all have had a good week. Um, oh, good, Tammy. You ordered the paper. Yes, that paper is amazing. Um, hey, Debbie. All right, so I'm gonna, we're gonna make something with this little sled that I got, of course, from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was super cute. And I kind of changed gears at the last minute today. I had already kind of planned out in my mind what I wanted to do. Um, Daniela, that mini ladder right here, it's got little gnomes on it. And um, it has got little Christmas lights. See the little lights? So cute. My moderator, Kaylee, on here, um, she sells these in her Etsy shop. I don't know if she has her Christmas ones up yet. So, Kaylee, if you'll drop your link, you can, to your shop. But she makes these. Um, she she hand drills all these holes. She makes the ladders herself. And she does the little, el the little elves. The little gnomes on there. But she does them for all the different seasons. And they are so stinking cute. But um, they're in her Etsy shop. And I was trying to get my Christmas stuff out. So, I was putting some stuff up. Oh, you love the elf. I know. Look at the little elf elf earrings, y'all. I just I think they're stinking adorable. I love them. Um, they're in the shop too. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a um yes, go in twice today. This little sled. We're gonna use um y'all know they always have these little stickers. They're they're wood, but they're little stickers that they have at Dollar Tree. Um I always look for opportunities to use these because I love these little things. I think they're adorable. We're going to use the little mittens and we're going to make this really cute and make some little accessories to go on it. And so, um, thank you, Christy. So we are going to make this super, super cute. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to, I want the string on it. Okay. Because either you can hang this on the tree or, you know, 
it has a, a string on a sled usually because you can pull it, right? Am I right about that? I'm not a sledding girl. I'm not in a place where we have snow very often. Um, so when we have snow, we just sled on whatever we can get slick to, to go down the hill on. So, um, oh, this shirt, my shirt is from Beware last year. So if you haven't looked at Beware shirts for Christmas, they are stinking awesome. I've already ordered mine the day they released them. And I was so excited. I couldn't wait. And it was hard to pick which ones I wanted because, <laughs> Not like I need any more shirts, but I love shirts. Um, just t-shirts. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Patty. Um, okay, so I took off the string, and I'm going to put the string back on uh, eventually. Because don't you pull a sled with a string? Some, You know, if you just want to pull it behind you or whatever, when you're going up the hill, doesn't it have a string on it? Uh, Terry, it came from uh, the Dollar Tree. I just threw the tag away. Hold on. It came from the Crafter Square Dollar Tree. It just says ornament. But it's a little wood sleigh. And they have two different kinds. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lori. Um, Kaylee's shop. Kaylee will probably put her link up in here in a second. Um, and if not, I will post and I'll post about it. But she has all those little gnomes. And I don't know if she has any Christmas ones yet. Um, so we'll see. She'll come on here and tell us if she's. I think she's on here. All right. So I'm going to sand down my little sleigh a little bit because I'm going to paint it and we're going to make it really cute. I just want to give it a little go over with my, um, hey Holly, a little, um, hey Charlene, and say Charlie and Diane, Charlene, where did I get Charlene from? Diane. Um, you have a, yes, Les have a string. Okay, I thought so, a rope or something, but, you know, there's not a lot of people down here in the South that own a sled, um, so, <laughs> But I thought they did have a rope or something that you pull it up the shirt, up, up the hill with. Hey, Rhonda. Yay, Rhonda's first time. You're new. Welcome. Okay, so this is Dollar Tree. So if you want to know where it came from, I'm going to... Um, oh, I got to grab a plate. Hang on. I didn't get anything for my paint. It's crazy. I had one earlier, and I had to go get one. Thank you, Cheryl. I like my shirt, too. It's really cute. And it has glitter, y'all. They say, okay, it has glitter in the ink, and it really does. It has glitter all over it. So, when you see that in the description of their shirts, it has glitter in the ink. It's really, really, it's really pretty, actually, if you can't see it. <laughs> but, um, so it's not going to come off. Um, but use the code TTV15 at checkout, and you can get an additional 15% off, and you can only use it once per email. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Please tell us again how to order. I've had a hard time finding your wood products. Pat, um, if you ever get confused about any of my stuff or any of my places that I am, there's always a link tree at the very top of my main page. And you can click that. It'll take you to my link tree. And everything you need to know about me is there. My shirts, my shirt, the t-shirt club I'm in, my group, the Instagram, TikTok, all the things uh, is there. But, uh... Sandy Block. I got it at Walmart because I think I'm the last crafter on earth to not have one of these. So I saw it and I said, I'm going to get one. It's called a gator sander and it comes with these little pieces of, of, of sandpaper <laughs> that you put on there. Hey, cat. Um, so it came from Walmart um, in the little hardware section, but it just did just Velcro on. And I see a lot of crafters using them and I'm just kind of the last one to jump on the jump on the bandwagon, but it was like $5 and something, but I know that you can get them on Amazon also. Okay, so I'm going to paint, because these are like, aren't they like blades? Am I right? And I saw I want to paint it, um, uh, I want to paint them, um, like metal. Aren't they, y'all tell me, aren't these blades when they go through the snow, isn't it like a blade? It's metal, right? So I want to, I'm going to paint them gray. And this is kind of dark. This is graphite by Michaels. Thank you, Emily. Hey, Karen. Welcome. Welcome, Karen. You're going to like it here with all these sweet people in the comments. And um, I hope you like my crafting style. And if you do, you just, just hang around and stay a while. Um, so if you're new, I go live on Mondays and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. Um... Oh, Sandy's from Liverpool. You're new, too. Y'all are, a bunch of y'all are new. 
Y'all must have came from Stacy's page, I bet. My shirt. I know. It's, they are getting big on me. I've lost 28 pounds, I believe. Yes, they're blades. Okay, thank you, Vicky, because I didn't want to sit here and paint this gray or silver if they're not blades. So I'm just going to sit here and paint this little sleigh really quick. Shouldn't take but a minute. But we're going to make it look really cute, hopefully. I'm going to try... But um, I picked these up the other day because I thought, well, I'll just find something to do with it. It'll dawn on me. Well, it dawned on me today, and I changed my whole idea of what I was going to do tonight. I changed it to this because <laughs> it just kind of, sometimes when you get an idea, you just have to go with it or the idea will leave. So I just went with it. Okay, there's one. Now, I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. You put wax on and they go faster. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I might need to know that if I ever have to get on a sled. <laughs> like I said, we slide down hills on cardboard boxes and everything else in the south because we don't own sleds because we hardly ever need it need a sled. So when you need one, you just slide down on anything you can get your hands on to slide with. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little silver on here. I am. I'm gonna kinda make it look kind of a little galvanized like I have in the past, maybe. Just a little silver, but yes, I'm gonna add some silver. But I'm just kind of giving them the, this gray coat. I probably should have went lighter. Hey, Karen, you're from Alabama. You're on my neighboring state, my twin state. So if y'all didn't know that, Mississippi and Alabama are called the twin states because they're like backwards. Sharon's from Illinois. Yeah, it's beware, B, the letter B, W-E-A-R dot com. And that's where the t-shirts are. And they just released their Christmas Monday? No, Tuesday the 1st. And I was ready and waiting, too. I was like, oh, gotta, gotta get my shirts because I was anxious to see the Christmas collection. They've been kind of giving little teasers about it. And so I was anxious to see the whole thing. Cause they have really fabulous shirts and they're not very expensive at all. I mean, you'll be shocked. You'll be like, oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So I got them gray and I'm going to put some silver on it. Garbage can lids are great. Yes, Patricia, your garbage can lids. I've seen people use those, you know, the sandboxes that look like the turtles or the ladybugs or whatever, little kid sandbox. People slide down on those. Um, oh, wow. Carolyn's lost 61 pounds. Well, kudos to you, girl. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put some silver on my little blades. And this is, I don't know if y'all can see it. This is um, Craft Smarts Silver. I love this paint. It's real liquid. It's from Michaels. But I like, I just like the paint. Um, but you know, deco art, they all have their own silvers and, but I just like this one for some reason. Oh, Adrian must be new. Welcome, Adrian. There's a bunch of new people here. Maybe they all must have come from Stacy's page, I bet. Cause I had fun in her group today and that's what we, I made. I'll show it to y'all up close in a minute. And I saw where somebody asked me to do it live. Well, since I did it in her paid group, I actually can't do it live because, you know, these people paid to be in their group, but um, I'm, I can do a rendition of it at some point, maybe. Hey, neighbor. Somebody, somebody was my neighbor. I saw something about Hernando and my neighbor. I missed it. Oh, Debbie. Debbie's in Olive Branch. That's right, Debbie. I knew that. You were in Olive Branch, so you are really my neighbor. You're in the same county. All right, so I'm just giving this a little coat of the silver, and I probably really didn't need to paint it gray, but I didn't know if this silver would be transparent on this wood, because y'all know that wood soaks it up. A giant cookie sheets. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Anything that's slick and flat, right? Just don't grease it up like Clark Griswold and go sailing through the Walmart parking lot on your sled. Okay. So there's my little blades. 
they look super big, don't they, um, for a sled. Hey, Vicky. Oh, you have your husband's sled? That's awesome. Hey, Alice. All right, so I'm just drying it, and I kind of wanted it look to look all smeared like because I don't want it to look, you know, just smooth. Hey, Lisa from Iowa. Yeah, my shirt is really cute, isn't it? I love it. But this is their last year, but they do have some cute snowmen. Um, I ordered a snowman. I ordered a gnome shirt. They have a leopard, a, like a Santa sleigh, and it's leopard, and it's super cute. The sleigh is leopard. I got that one, and I think I got something with three trees on it. Y'all, I'm telling you. I, um, oh, yay, Karen Stacy Page. Awesome. A poinsettia. Oh, bar. I can try. You bet. They sold out in like 10 minutes. And I'm just shocked because it was a lot of them. And I'm just blown away. Um, but I will restock them. I've already gotten on the website and I've already ordered more candlesticks. So, um, Tina, you just watched it. Was it on TV? You just watched the Griswolds? That's like my favorite. Oh, that's awesome, Carolyn. That's awesome that you've lost that much. Wonderful. Okay. So, see that I didn't get them, like, solid. You can really see on that side. But that's okay, because they're supposed to look like metal. So, I'm not too worried about it. All right. So, let's... I'm going to paint this part. So, I'm assuming... I know this is wood, but I think I'm going to paint it red. And, like, maybe distress it and put some um, uh, wax or something on it. So I'm not going to go with this super bright red. That's true red by Deco Art. It's like really bright. I think I'm going to go with this. This is cherry red. So you see the difference. But, you know, after you put wax on it, though, it's going to calm it down. Oh, wow. Your original Radio Flyer Sled. That's awesome. Um, that's probably worth some money, actually. What's your weight loss secret? Char, I am doing um, a plan called Octavia. Um, it's, trying to think. See how bright this is? And see, I don't want it that bright in the end, but it's bright. I don't know why I chose this brush. Because I'm not, I'm not liking it. Okay. Um, it's called Octavia, and you do order their little food but it's, they call it feelings. And so you eat, you eat uh, five feelings a day. You eat one when you get up in the morning, like drink a shake. I put my chocolate shake in my cop, in my, the sled is from Dollar Tree. Um, I put my shake in my coffee and I, I love it that way now. And um, then uh, every two to three hours, you're eating something else. You're eating a feeling as they call it. And they, basically what you're doing is you're in a calorie deficit, but you're giving your body something every two to three hours. So your body doesn't realize you're in a, cal in a calorie deficit, if that makes any sense. Um, so everything's thought out for you. You order your little food and I like the food. You can eat brownies, you can eat. And of course you put, you cook it in the microwave. So it's like the little brownies hot when you make it and it's really good. And, um, but then you eat one meal a day that you cook and you can eat it at lunch. You can eat it at supper, whenever you want to eat it, but it has to have like, uh, three greens and one lean. So greens meaning like cauliflower rice or, um, uh, broccoli or romaine lettuce or spinach or something like that. So, um, like if you have a coach, you, what color should these be? Should they be red? Um, Oh, you got one too, Melinda? Well, here you go. Should this be red, these little things? What, I don't know what those are. I guess they're handles. Um, so, anywho, I don't know if I should paint the backside, but while y'all, I'm waiting for y'all to tell me, um, I'll go ahead and just paint this backside. But anyway, so, you know, like I have a coach uh, who I signed up under, and I, 
you know, they direct you to websites and you have recipes and most of them are very easy recipes to do. And, um, and I, I don't like cauliflower. I don't like anything like that, but I love these recipes that we cook and they're actually really good and it's so easy. And so it's, Susan, it, it, it can be expensive. Yes. But you got to think though, I'm not running to McDonald's or running through the drive through to get, you know, I'm not going to Starbucks, which I'm not a Starbucks person. Um, okay. They're brown. Okay. I'll paint them brown. Thank you very much. Cause I'm not a sled girl. I guess I should have looked this up a sled before I started painting, but I have all y'all, so I don't need brown or black. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so anyway, so you're in a calorie deficit, but you eat these feedlings. So your body thinks you're getting something and um so black so they said black or brown mine were wood with a bar is metal uh oh okay anyway and so you eat that meal and you eat five feelings so you're eating six times a day pretty much um and i'm kind of picky when it comes to eating <laughs> and so i I was fine with what we have to do. So, it's I just go inside, I get whatever it is, and I fix it really quick, and I eat it, and it's not bad at all. Um, where's my wipes? So, that's pretty much the gist of it. But, yeah, I mean, it's, I think mine's like four something a month, depending on what you what food you order, okay? Um, so, that has a lot to do with it. But... It, um, thank you, Lisa. You're so sweet. That has a lot to do with it. What you pick, you know, what food you pick and stuff. But it's really easy for me. I, I like it. And it's, plus it's getting healthy. It's not just me losing the weight. It's me getting healthy at the same time. Leave them natural. I think I'm just going to wax over them. And it'll kind of be a little brown. But I'm going to dry it. And I already see I got paint red paint in the little crack, a big gob of red paint that's not ever going to dry. Um, but anyway, it's called Optavia, and there's a follower on here, I think, um, Alicia uh, Edmonds. She is actually a coach. She's not my coach, but she is a coach. So I've just been sending everybody to her. Look, I, can't, I get it all over me. Um, so she's lost like 100 pounds. The bar running up the middle is metal, and the bars going across were wood. Okay, well, so maybe I need to paint these. Maybe I need to paint that silver. All right, let me just. I knew I'd have some sled people on here. Okay, so I got that silver. It's looking like a sled. Okay, so let me, let me set this over here. I'll be done, spilt that whole thing. Oh, my earrings. Yeah, they keep caught in my hair, but see the little, little elf, elf earrings. Uh-oh, it looks like you're going to DT tomorrow. There's just a little sled from Dollar Tree. Um, but what I'm going to make to go with it and stuff is going to be super cute. Okay. All right. So now I think I'm just going to wax over the whole thing and give it some brown. And that's going to make those brown. And I still have wax under my fingernails from that tray today. And I've scrubbed and tried to get it off. And you know how that goes. So see, it's going to make a huge difference when we, when I wax it and wipe some of it off going to tone that red down a little bit and then I'm going to kind of wipe a little of it off because I kind of want it to look a little worn you know we want it to look like it's it's been down the hill a few times not necessarily a bright shiny little sled and that looks still looks super bright on y'all's end but on my end it's not as bright so I'm just going to kind of tap it not as 
I promise y'all it's not as bright on my side. There's some wax. So now I'm just gonna wax the little metal bars. And I'm gonna go over that silver a little bit so it looks like it's worn. Oh, now I got red in my wax. <laughs> now I'm gonna wipe some of that back off. Kaylee, did you put your store link in there? Uh oh, somebody must have lost their mom. Bless them. Um, it's hard to lose your mama, I'm gonna tell you. I'll be the first one to tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna wax the blades too because I don't want them to look all shiny new. Hey, Laurie. Angela, I, I use the, the scrubber, but I'm probably not using Dawn, and maybe that's the trick to it. I just use, like, hand soap or whatever, so maybe I need to use a little bit of Dawn. <laughs> Dawn will take anything off, I think. So maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, so see that makes, it ages it just a little, but you still have that silver kind of look to it. We don't want it to look all shiny new. But if you want yours to look shiny new, you can. I just like it to look a little bit aged. And then I'm gonna go on the inside. So see, it just looks a little aged. So our sled is just about done. I might as well go ahead and wax this. Didn't didn't do the back side. Red, I mean the the silver, but you know, you're really not gonna see that part. But just because I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm already over here anyway. Let me get this under here. Cause I hardly ever do the back side of anything. Oh, that's the steer handle. Yes. Is that how you steer it? Y'all tell me now, because I'm telling you, I don't know anything about sleds. I don't think I've ever ridden on a sled. It's been a homemade, come some kind of homemade something to slide in the snow is what I have ridden on. Okay. So now it looks like it's a finished piece because it's got the backs finished, which I hardly ever do. <laughs> So it looks really cute. Now we're gonna add some stuffs to it. But I'm, I'm gonna let that dry a second and get all of this off my hands. Something, the wood sleds from Dollar Tree, yes. What is the website to order shirts? Tana, it is capital B, W-E-A-R dot com. And you can use TTV15 at checkout and you'll get 15% off. And you can only use it once per email, so. If it doesn't uh, take it, that's why. Um, okay, let me dry this and I'm gonna sand it a little bit. Murphy's Oil Soap have good paint brushes and always shop like, yes, I use Murphy's Oil Soap. I just actually tried to rescue some brushes that I had let get kind of crusty <laughs> with Murphy's Oil Soap and it, it worked. Cafeteria trays in college, that is hilarious. Oh, you're crafting with me? You're doing your sled? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to put my little rope back on. Or I'll make another rope or something. Wax? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell y'all. It's Waverly, just the antique wax. Or you can go to Michael's. They have the Art Minds brand. And I have used it. And it's fine. I like it. Um... Trish, we're so sorry for your loss. I don't know if you lost your mom or what, but I totally am understanding. I lost both my parents three, three months apart, and that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, soak your fingers in water and done and Scrub your finger in all the other things. Yeah, I have a brush. Okay, I'm going to have to try that. Hey, Delina from Alabama. Okay. So, yeah, use it. If you have another email, just use another email. Um, I've lost 28 pounds right now, and the last couple of weeks, my little elfy legs are, anyway, the last couple of weeks, I've kind of not done so good, because, it just, for different reasons, Diane, hello, hey, okay, so there's my sled, it looks super cute, and you can just leave it at this and go with that, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look a little bit, We want it to look like it's, you know, it's been well loved, this little sled. 
But I can tell you this little thing is worth the five dollars and whatever cents it was at Walmart. I probably should have waxed it after I sanded it. This little gem is wonderful. I am making some kind of mess. kind of taking a little of that off but yeah uh, this yeah this mess I can't handle it can't handle it if you don't have one of these mats they're wonderful too the paint just wipes right off of them and I just made a really hot mess on my table but it, it wipes right off your paint and everything else glue okay In four weeks, it took me a couple of months to lose 28. Um, if you were real strict about it, um, I mean, you might could, you know, you might could lose a little more than, you know, half that, I guess, or 12, 10, 12. Um, oh, yeah, Vicky, these are, and this little thing is like soft and spongy. It's pretty neat. I bet it is good for your hands. But my husband tried the diet first, and he only needed to lose like 30 pounds, and which he didn't really need to lose that, to be honest. And after I saw what he was eating and what he was doing, I decided that I was going to do it too, because if he's doing it, I might as well do it too. And I really like it. Okay, so there's my little sled. Um, the mats, they're in my Amazon shop. I got it from Amazon. But it's just a silicone mat. And just be, uh, if you go search for silicone mat and you pick one, just be uh, mindful of the size. Because you don't want to get one that's like this. This one is, I want to say it's 2 by, let's see, 12, 7. So that's nine, it's like 19 by 23 and a half. So, you know, it's a good size. I mean, it's a good crafting size. So just be mindful of the size. It's a silicone mat. That's all you can just type in silicone mat. People use them to bake and stuff. Um, Lisa, it's called Optavia. Okay, so there's my sled. Um, now, I told y'all about my little, my snowman, he's over there. I still haven't put him back here. I totally forgot about him. But y'all know I used that blanket the other night. Here's the scraps. I actually, I cut this piece off. So, I like the blanket stitch. So, we're going to make a little toboggan that's going to hang on our sled, okay? Um, yeah, just type silicone mat on Amazon. Actually, Kaylee was the one that got me this one. Um, and I've ordered some since. I think I uh, gifted some away at Christmas last year. Okay, so I want to make a little toboggan that is going to hang on our little sled. Um, cause I saw these mittens and I was like, we got to have a toboggan. Um, okay. So I'm just, this is my little blanket stitch that's on the edge of that blanket. And you could, if you just have fleece or material, you could just cut, make a cuff up. And actually I like that. So I think I'm just going to cuff it up and it looks like that. Cause you know how the toboggan has like a little, a rolled, some of them have a little rolled edge on them. So I'm just going to roll it up. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Like a little hem almost. But I just want it to be the cuff of our toboggan. You know, up here. Look at Manny. Hey, Manny. There's Manny with Manny's paper fun. Y'all go check Manny out. He, he can do some miracles with some paper. Um, thank you for the link, though. See, I, I do. I want to put a glass glass on top of this. I really do. And then anything I get on it, I can just scrape it off with a blade, a razor blade or something. Oh, you found the blanket at Walmart? I'm telling you, it's awesome. Okay, so you have to be mindful of where in the pattern you want your little hat to be. So, I want a little red and I want a little green. 
So I think I'm gonna do it this way. And then you kind of have to think about how big you wanna make it in scale with your sled. <laughs> Um, this little thing is called a gator, like a alligator, gator sander, and I got it at Walmart. Um, it was like 540 something, and it comes with all these little different pieces of sandpaper. It was totally worth it. Hey, Lynn. Jodina is called Optivia, O-P-T-I-V-I-A, and you can Google it, and Alicia Edmonds, if she's on, she is actually a coach, and you can message her, and she will send you lots of info about it. Okay, so I'm just folding it to where it's about, it's maybe an inch. I don't know. Let's see. Where's my... It's like two, two and a quarter wide, because I'm just kind of thinking that's a good size for my sled. Oh, my blister? It's better. It's all dried up now. It's not liquid filled, so it's it's doing lots better. Okay, the blanket is like two was like three seventy eight, and I've got all of this left. <laughs> so uh, I made the snowman with it, but it's tons left. Um, I still have leopard left. Okay, so I'm gonna meet it together in the back, but then I'm gonna cut so I can cut this excess off. So let's see. Come on. I'm just going to fold it and kind of see where it meets, but I'm going to cut a little extra so it'll double over. I'm using the lines on my fabric to cheat like that. So it'll be kind of straight. All right. So this is what I have. And I'll measure it just, just because y'all ask. So it's like five and a half, and then tall, I did it four inches tall, because I can cut some of it off. A uh, hardware, Lynn, they're in the hardware section where the sandpaper is. And you'll see it, because it's yellow, so you can't miss it. All right, so I'm gonna double it over in the back. I'm just making a baby toboggan. I'm trying not to burn myself tonight. Oh, that was misery. And I'm just going to put some hot glue and make like a little seam. Oh, the silicone oven mat? Yes, that would work really good. Okay. So this is what I have. So see, I made my little hem. I like the little blanket stitch. So I rolled it up and made a little... Um, so it's basically, I just made like a little tube. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So now I'm going to take some jute and we're going to tie up the top of our little toboggan. Because we're going to hang it on the sled like somebody's coming back to sled. Hey, Debbie. Sander is called Gator Sander, yes. And I think I'm the last one to ever get one because I think lots of crafters use them and I just hadn't gotten on the bandwagon and I know now why they're awesome. Um, but I use the Dollar Tree sand blocks. I use those every day. Okay, so here's my little toboggan. Okay, so now up here, y'all know I got to be like my snowman. If you're like me, you have a jillion pom-poms and you don't really know why you have a jillion pom-poms but you just do so i'm gonna make a little make him a pom-pom on top like we did the snowman so it's just dollar tree pom-poms have a whole whoops i have a whole bunch of them for what reason i don't know hey kimmy welcome all right so i'm gonna cut off the top like we did the other night and i'm gonna try to get it as close as i can get it so I can put my pom pom on there. Let's see. So I just tied it with some jute, and you can use whatever you want to use. Okay. So let, let me glue my glue my pom pom on. Okay. Hold it a second. Oh, y'all don't know what a toboggan is? 
Somebody said it's a knit beanie in the South. Yes. You never heard it called a toboggan? What? It's a beanie hat. Look, is that not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Look. <laughs> See a little pom-pom? That is adorable. So look, look how cute this is going to look on my sled. Because we're going to make some mittens too. So cute. And I wanted to use that fabric so bad. A stocking cap called a toboggan. So, okay, y'all look it up. You're, that's your homework is look up a toboggan. <laughs> Why do you call it that? That's just the name of it. <laughs> okay, look at Angela. You wear your toboggan hat on a toboggan sled. <laughs> it's a hat. It's a beanie hat. <laughs> that's so funny that things are different. Thank you, Gina. Okay, so this is these little wood stickers from Dollar Tree. And they have mittens. And I was digging through my stash and I was like, oh no, we got to make mittens. Toboggan is a sled. Okay, well, we call them hats too. <laughs> um, we've always called it toboggan in the South. See? <laughs> yeah, that's funny, y'all. That is really funny that it's different. Okay, so these are the little mittens, and you could totally paint these, but you got to turn one over so you'll have left and right. You know, you, if you do this, you're going to have two lefts or two rights or whatever. Um, okay, Ellen's always hard to tell that. Toboggan is a candy cage shaped sled in a shoe boggin? What? Oh, what's a shoe boggin? <laughs> right, Judy? I thought everybody called it a toboggan. I'm sorry. Well, we're making a beanie hat. <laughs> it's a little beanie hat for whoever's coming to ride my sled. Ride on the sled. Um, see? Tina? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to try my very best to hopefully put some fabric on my Mittens? Are they called mittens? <laughs> I call these mittens. <laughs> and this is a toboggan. It's a beanie hat. They're not gloves, they're mittens. <laughs> I did paint the sled, Lucy. It came from Dollar Tree, and I painted it up and sanded it, waxed it, did all the things. Um, oh, look, South Carolina is a toboggan. Okay, so I'm not crazy. So I think what I'm going to do is I... I'm going to glue my fabric to my mittens <laughs> and then, um, that's hilarious. Oh, you, you thought, okay, y'all confused y'all because I called it a, a toboggan hat and y'all thought it was a sled. Okay. This is a toboggan, what I call a toboggan. Okay. So it's a beanie hat <laughs> with a pom-pom. All right. So I'm going to just put some hot glue on my mittens. I'm sorry I confused y'all. I honestly did not realize that it was different. That is so funny, though. Yeah, I guess it's a southern thing, but some, I mean... Pom-pom hat. Okay. All right. So, I've, I put one down and then one... Okay, so I'm hoping I'm doing this right. I'm just putting hot glue and laying it on my fabric. And then I'm going to take my itty bitty scissors and I'm going to trim it out. Uh, my little super sharp pointy scissors. Yeah, I don't like the cold either. Is that Dana who's saying cold? I don't like cold. Okay, so I wanted my little mittens. I didn't want to cover. I didn't want to paint them. I wanted them to match the mittens. I mean, match the beanie hat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I honestly didn't think anything of that. I, yeah, now I need a little gnome to go on my sled, right? With this little hat. So these are these Tim Holtz little bitty scissors. They're almost like embroidery scissors. And they're super sharp and I can get in all these little nooks and crannies. Do y'all say nooks and crannies where y'all from? Oh, and these are mittens, right? 
it's a sled. Vicky says it's a sled that Siri says. Oh, if I say that, she's going to come on. It says it's a sled used in to... We're Southerners weren't confused. <laughs> right, Debbie? Y'all knew exactly what I was doing. So sorry. I confused everybody else. <laughs> but it, it's funny to learn that, though. It's interesting because, you know, we, we call different things different things. Okay. Okay, there's one of my little mittens. I mean, you can still see the side. If it bothers you, you can definitely paint. But there's a mitten. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that calls it that. Stocking hat. Yeah, that's funny, though. That is funny. See, a stocking hat, to me, I would think would be like Santa's hat. That long thing with the pom-pom on it. That's like a stocking cap to me. So, no wonder y'all were kind of confused. Like, what is she doing? <laughs> we're going to make a toboggan. That's a sled. You already did the sled. <laughs> I had y'all super confused. Okay, Diane says it's both. And like, my husband, he lived um, in Missouri for a while. And that thing that sits in front of your couch, not your coffee table... But the thing you put your feet on, he calls it a hassock. And I'm like, a what? He said, you know, a hassock. And I said, it's an ottoman. <laughs> yeah, the mittens only have a thong and gloves have fingers, right? <laughs> well, I think we all good on that one, right? I was just teasing y'all. Okay. But yeah, he calls it a hassock and I call it an ottoman. Cheryl says it's always been toboggan to her, too. <laughs> okay, so here is my, here are, let me talk correctly, my mittens. So, yeah, don't think that you just have to paint these little wood things from the Dollar Tree, those little stickers like this. You can totally cover them and make you some fuzzy fleece mittens. So there's my mittens, and you can still see the wood a little bit. I didn't do a great cutting job, but it's okay. Hasn't been seen something in eons. Yep, eons. We say eons too. I hadn't seen them in eons. Okay, so I want to... Just got red paint on my beanie hat. Now it looks like he's had a little... A sled wreck injury. Alright, I got it off. It landed in the paint. But you can't even see it because it was on the red part. Um, Illinois calls it that. A sled is a sled. Right, Sonia? A sled is a sled and a toboggan is a hat. <laughs> Never heard it called a hassock? Yes, that's what they kind of say, I guess, up north. These scissors, they have them at Hobby Lobby. They're Tim Holtz, if y'all can see his little name. Um, a little sweet follower, Diane, sent these to me. And they're super, super sharp and I use them for my pom-poms. And, uh, but you can get them on Amazon too. Footstool, yes. Um, or I call it an ottoman because it's a big, we have a big one and I just call it an ottoman. Uh, so I want to connect my mittens together because mittens sometimes have strings to where you don't lose, um, you don't lose the one or the other. Elf on the shelf. Oh, it's a perfect size for him, too, I think. That's a super good idea, Deb. Because, <laughs> I'm going to know it. Because um, a shopping cart or a buggy. Yeah, I say a cart. I say buggy. I kind of interchange the two. I really don't say one or the other. Um, An ottoman, yes. It's O-T-T-O-M-A-N, I think. And then my husband calls it a hassock, which is the same thing. Um, so, I'm going to glue... If I should paint the back of my mittens. Now I'm kind of wondering about my mittens. All right. But hassock is like A H A S S O C K, I think is how you spell it. Hassock. He first said that, I was like, what in the world are you talking about? He said, you know, the thing you put your feet on. I'm like, that's an ottoman. <laughs> Oh, mercy. He said, well, well, I've always called it that because in Missouri, that's what we called it because he lived there for a time. 
a little while. I'm just painting the back on my mittens in case they show. I could put the stuff on the, I mean, the, um, stuff on the, um, the fleece on the back, but, okay, ottoman has legs. That's good to know. So, a hassock, I think, is like a big pillow, tuft pillow thing that you put your feet on, if I'm not, ottoman or footstool. Yep, it's just depending on where you live in the country, what you call stuff is hilarious. It's funny how things are different, like uh, soda and pop, and that's different. Um, it's just hilarious. Okay. Car What'd she say? Carriage? I was reading something about Northern to say something, and I missed it. No hassocks. Yeah, we have an ottoman. I call it ottoman. Diana says... So I'm just drying my mittons. <laughs> okay, they had clips for their mittens, yes. Soda, I call it a Coke. Any kind of carbonated beverage to me is called a Coke. Whether it's a Pepsi, whether it's a Sprite, whether it's just a, it's a Coke. I'm gonna stop at the store and get a Coke. That's just, that's how Southerners talk. Um, okay. So there are my mittens. I painted them red in case you saw the back. So I'm going to, I should have painted some right here, but I'm gonna pull my fleece a little bit, stretch it maybe, and it'll cover that up. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue my little jute to the back, my little sled. Now, who thinks we should add some of this to it? Have y'all used this before, Snowtex? It's from, this is from Hobby Lobby. This whole little jar was five, five bucks and it'll probably last me more snow than I ever want to use. <laughs> um, it's Coke, Judy. <laughs> a Southern is just cause they Coke. Round leather. Yes. A round leather thing. All right. So I'm putting my mittens on the little string. Because some mittens are together, right? You could glue the string on and cover... Oh, you could do that. Put the fleece right over it so you wouldn't see where it was glued on the back. Pop. <laughs> Soda pop. Stuffing and dressing. Yes, there is a big difference. We call it dressing here. Cornbread dressing. And I'm ready for some. Okay. So, I... So here are my little mittens. Yes, you can see the back, but maybe once I get them on my sled. So yes, I should add snow text. So um, my friend Stephanie from Windy City Crafts, she didn't, she had never used snow text and we were in a little conversation today and she got, she tried out a recipe that she found and she wanted me to tell y'all that if you don't have snow text, you can use equal parts school glue and baking soda and mix it up and it'll make snow. And so she tried it today and it looked really cool. The picture she sent, it was really neat. So you don't have to go buy the snow tech. She put a little white paint in hers, but um, it's, it. she said she really didn't need to do that, but she did just in case. Um, okay, so this, yeah, if you say you want a Coke, you ask what kind. Um, all right, so here's my mittens. These were just a little Dollar Tree little stickers that you get. So see, what I want to do is I want to hang it on my sled. I covered them with part of the blanket. So I'm going to hang it on my sled. And my little hat, we can stick it up here. Like I'm going to lean it. You can lean it up against on your tiered tray or something. But I think I need some snow on my sled. I need something else on my sled. But look how stinking cute this is from Dollar Tree. And this was the blanket, you know, that I still have all this. <laughs> Y'all gonna get tired of seeing that green and red pl plaid. Um, yes, Paula, I'm ready for some. So there's my mittens. Um, pop or soda, yes. I call it Coke. And this is a toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, 
String the mittens can be used on baby mittens so they will not lose them. Or maybe these are, I'm lose, prone to losing my mittens, so there they are. Um, Cynthia, I've got a video done. I've just got to do the voiceover, and I'm going to work on that tomorrow afternoon and try to get it loaded up. I know, I know, I know. i got to do it. Um, okay, so snow or no snow? Somebody said they like the snow tech, so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to use it. I want to use it, but after I use it, I can't handle it. It's got to dry. Um, but look how stinking cute this is. Um, fur on the mittens. Well, I thought about that, and I have these little baby pom-poms, so I thought, well, what if I put like two, I don't know if it's going to look like pom-poms, though, that's the thing, I'm trying to make two little, let me show you, so see, I think it's going to look like pom-poms on my mittens, um, so I'm trying to, but they're little, because my cutting that fur would be um, crazy. You're not going to get tired of my blanket, because <laughs> I'm going to use it as much as I can to make stuff with. Because, I mean, it's, it was three seventy eight at Walmart. I mean, and it's stinking adorable. I need to buy another one just to go on my blanket ladder in my house. But, y'all, this is wonderful fleece fabric to make stuff with. And then all your stuff will match. And I was telling you, like, the flannel and the, the leopard blanket that we use, everything will match. Snow, oh, snow takes on the mittens. Somebody's genius. Who said that? The snow, oh, yeah. I was going to put snow takes on my snowman the other day, but I love the crackle so much, I just didn't do it. A cotton ball, white felt. I think I'm going to put snow takes on there. Oh, the mittens need something. I agree. So it kind of looks like this. It's, I don't know, it just looks, it's not like like plaster or anything like that. It just looks um, like it's milly almost. Y'all know what milly is? So I'm gonna just take a paintbrush because I've only used this like once. And I'm gonna just dab it on my mittens and put, um, put it like where the cuff would be. So we're gonna make us some fur. So you just kind of pat it down and leave it alone, I think. All right, that don't look too bad. I can't even remember what I used this stuff on. But I got it at Hobby Lobby. I know Joann's and Michael's has it too. It's just called Snow Tex. Deco Art makes it. But if you use equal parts school glue and baking soda and mix it together, then you can make snow with like that too. And that was my friend Stephanie from Windy City Crafts because I told her I was using snow text and she was like, I have never used that. What is that? And I was telling her and she goes, oh, well, I'm going to look up a recipe. So she did. So if you don't have snow text, you can make it with baking soda and school glue. Okay. This don't look too terribly bad. Let's see. Let me hold them where I don't get it everywhere. It looks, from there, it looks like fur. That looks better, doesn't it? Cute. Looks really cute. Oh, okay. But see, they have to sit and dry. It's not like a, it says, where are the instructions? Apply with a dabbing motion using a brush or sponge or palette knife. Allow to dry between coats. Indoor use only, water-based, permanent. Soap and water cleanup. Okay. So it didn't say how long it took to dry. So, and I'm kind of scared to put my heat tool on it. Scared I'll burn it. <laughs> then I'll have black snow. Yes, I saw the stuffed trees, and they looked kind of like this this material. They the stuffed trees at Dollar Tree, and uh, I saw who did I see do that? Miss Yvonne from Southern Finds and Designs. She redid those trees uh, on a live last week. I think I I think I saw it somewhere. It's so hard to watch everybody. 
Sherry, uh, Kaylee will have to put her little link up of her Etsy shop. So, Kaylee, put your little link in there. Uh, if not, I'll post it, too. Um, I'll post her link to her Etsy shop. I don't know if she has any um, gnomes in her shop, but we can certainly see. All right, there's my mittens. Um, here's my stocking cap on my sled. I need to put the string back on it. And then I think it needs something. I, I don't know what it needs. Yes, yeah, snow text on the sled. That's what it needs. All right, and I just put my brush in the water. Um, let me just find some some little ratty brush in my, in my collection. Thank y'all for telling me to put it on the sled. Um, or you can message Kaylee also. She is my one of my moderators in here that I could not live without. All right, so should I put them on the blades? Put a little snow. Like it's, this is like, it's like crumbly, if that makes any sense. It's kind of crumbly. Like it's got, like it's sand with glue or something. I'm just going to kind of gob it on there like that. Hey, Susie. Wrap that mitten string around this steering bar and they should stay in place. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. I'm gonna let them dry though. I don't know how long this stuff takes to dry. A white or a little clear glitter. That would look good too. Okay, Kaylee just put her link to her Etsy shop. But I will post it again. But she does the cutest gnomes. I haven't heard her say if she has any right now. I'm sure she does. But she hand paints all those by hand. She she paints them all by hand. Her little gnomes. So I'm just kind of running it along the blade. So see, it's giving a little, little bit of something, something. Okay. I'm trying to find a. It keeps falling off my brush. It's like, like I said, it's kind of crumb, like crumbles. I don't know. It's weird. But it looks like snow. But yes, I agree. Some glitter would be very pretty. Cornmeal. Oh. <laughs> Like cornmeal, somebody said. All right. So I'm just putting it along the blades. So I hope y'all find this sled. And some people said they already had the sled. And somebody was painting theirs right along with me, which is cool. All right. So there's my snow. A pair of boots. Oh, my goodness. Charlene, we're going to have a whole outfit. We're going to have a whole a whole gnome before it's over with on my sled. So, maybe I need some snow up on the seat. or the. Is this called the seat? What is this called of the sled? A blanket? Look at Catherine. She's like, you need a blanket on your sled. We're going to have a whole ice skating pond and a mountain and some trees. <laughs> have a whole little winter village. Um... See, I'm just adding a little snow. Oh, you use your fingers to put it on? Snow boots. Penny's like, Yo, how am I going to make boots? <laughs> it takes a while to dry good. Yeah, I think I remember it doing it last time, but I don't even remember what I put it on. But I'm putting it on my sled. Kind of gob it up in some places. So we want it to look like it's been down the hill a few times. So see. Isn't that cool how that little sled from Dollar Tree has just come to life? It looks all icy and well ridden. Somebody has had a fun day of sledding. I think I'll put some up front because you know I'm sure when you're going down the hill it kind of grazes the the sled. Thank you, Tony. So y'all be on the lookout for this little sled. It's really cute. I mean, you could stencil stuff on the, on, is that the seat? Um, you just got a notification. That's crazy. Um, Mod Podge a nap. Oh, you could Mod Podge a napkin on it. That would look really cool. Yeah, there's so much you can do. You let yours dry overnight. Yeah, I think the snow is kind of 
gives it a, a little something something it needed. It looks really cool. It looks like snow. But I put it on the front. See how I got it on this front bar thing and the handles? Or whatever, steering bar. Like, you know, it's going down the hill and it's all gobbed up on the front. Make a scarf. All right. We can make a scarf. That's easy. Let me put some on the end of the blades. The stocking to make boots. That's cute. I don't know because the bottom's rounded. Hang on, I'll have to look at it. Y'all are giving me all kinds of ideas. Y'all are y'all are y'all have all the best ideas, I'm telling you. That's why I tell y'all we all need each other because I don't know everything and neither do y'all, so we just need to help each other as we can. Look. All right. It's snowy. It's real snowy. <laughs> okay. Super cute. Okay. Now look at all this. I've got it everywhere. All right. I'm going to finish with my snow here because... I'm going to I'm gonna get too carried away and put too much snow on if there's such a thing. It's too much snow. Oh, mess, mess, mess. It is. It's like gritty. It's really gritty. They had, I bought another sled they had. It was different style, but I only saw two. Oh, the rope. Yes. Look. It is like grit. It's like sand is what it feels like in the stuff. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Stacy, you sure can. You can make a sled out of popsicle sticks. That looks super cute. So I can't put all my little things on it because it's all, the snow is wet. But there's my, my little mittens. Uh-oh. And you know what I have I can put on the mittens? Hold on. We're just going to keep going. I have all these little, little tiny snowflakes from their buttons actually. So I'm gonna try to hold it. See the little ring of the button? <laughs> and they are like the tiniest snowflake. And I think they're from Hobby Lobby. And I can put those on my mittens too. Um, the sled is from Dollar Tree. I looked up and saw somebody asking. Um, hey Janet, I'm glad you're here. Use the boot. Okay, I'll look at the boots. Right now, I'm going to cut that. It went flying over there somewhere. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Three different notifications. Yeah, that just went flying across the room. Okay. So, I'm going to put it on my mittens. Right? There. I'm going to cut that off some more. I need my exacto thing. I don't think that's over here. Yeah, I have my tech service still, but it um, it's just crazy expensive, and I text, I text rare, I text some, but not, not very much. It's just crazy. All right, so I'm gonna put my snowflake on my mittens. Whoop! I'm telling you, these are tiny. Can't even hold on to it. Now you're going to tell me, you need a snowman, and you need a, a little snowman, and your, see, look at the little, the little uh, snowflakes, how cute. And those are just buttons from Hobby Lobby in the little Christmas area. I've had these for ever. When you need a little snowflake, you have a little snowflake. Oh, yeah, you could do the dot art on this mittens, but super cute. Aren't they cute? There's my mittens, so it's all got to dry. So there's the toboggan or the beanie hat. Does it need a snowflake too? Because I got bigger ones. Break out the clay and make a little kid. Oh my goodness. Y'all have said y'all going to have a whole, a whole village before it's over. So I have all these little snowflakes in there. I have a whole little drawer for Christmas embellishments. Oh, Tammy, that'll be fun. Let me use these scissors. Don't you hurt yourself sledding. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to put, this is a bigger one. They have all different kinds. And I think that's just what it needed. Super cute, because our little snowman we made, he's got snowflakes on his hat. If you didn't see that, I made him Monday night, but he's over there. Look how cute, our little beanie hat. So what it's gonna happen is, it's gonna sit on my sled, and I'll probably lean this up. This hat's gonna be there, and my mittens are gonna hang on the sled, and then y'all want me to make a scarf. <laughs> Let's see if I have any scraps I can use to make a scarf. Uh, I ain't wild about that pattern. So let's do this. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Karen's like, you need some reindeer, and you need a snowman, and you need an ice skating pond, and some lights to go across the pond, and a tree, and a bench, and some people, and... <laughs> Yeah, Snow Text is from, this is Hobby Lobby, but yeah, I'm sure you can get on Amazon. But if you want to make your own, you can make um, baking soda and school glue, equal parts. And I haven't tried that, but my friend Stephanie at Windy City Crafts, she tried it today and she said it works beautifully. So, um, for something that she's making, but she's never used a Snow Text. So, I've only used it one other time, and I can't even remember what it was I used it for. All right. So, here's me a scarf. It's probably a big scarf. <laughs> Poor little fellow with no boots. <laughs> There's the boots. Well, where am I going to put the boots? And they're all glittery. So, I'd have to cut the... I'd have to do something to the bottom because they look like stockings. You just finished packing for a cruise. Now, I'm super jealous. I love a cruise. In, you're in Florida. It doesn't even get cold. And I'm going to I'm going to Florida, actually, at the end of November. And that's something I haven't talked to y'all about. Haven't told y'all about it. But I guess now is just as good as time as any. Um, so I'm trying to get out as much of my Christmas stuff as I can for on my in my shop because at the end of the month, Thanksgiving week, we're going to see um, my husband's dad, which is my father-in-law, and his stepmom, which is my stepmother-in-law, I guess you call her. And um, uh, his dad got diagnosed with a brain tumor in the spring. Um, and he's done chemo and the pills and radiation, all the things. They did take some of it out. It has grown. And um, so we are going to go and visit them the week of Thanksgiving because they live down right outside of um, outside of, of Orlando. So I'll be gone the whole week of Thanksgiving. So, and I will be down there with them because we need to go see him. Um, so anyway, so here's my little scarf. So I won't be cutting that week uh, or sending out anything that week because we will be gone. But yeah, I wanted to do ice skates, Tammy, but I don't have any little ice skates. Okay, so here's my scarf. And when it dries, I can hang my scarf over here. And I'll hang the mittens. And I got the beanie hat. Super cute. Measurements for it. Paper, look at Tammy's like, Use a paper clip for your ice skates. That's genius. Well, thank y'all for the prayers because we could use the prayers. Um, he's in very good spirits. Um, you know, they they basically told us or told him uh, 17 months from diagnosis. Um, it's it's. I don't know if y'all know anything about brain cancer or brain tumors. It's a very it's very aggressive. Um, they did take part of it out. Um, so. My dad had the same type of cancer, so it hits really close to home to me. We didn't find out about my dad's until it was very, very big, and they gave my dad five and a half. Well, they gave him six weeks to live after he was diagnosed, and he made it five and a half. Um, it's just an aggressive cancer. And um, so my father-in-law's in good spirits. Uh, he's done the pills. He still do the, does the pill, uh, and he's done radiation, all the things. And um, so 
we're gonna go spend Thanksgiving with them and that's just putting family first. Um, so anyway, so it's, um, he's in good spirits and we're excited to see him. All of us are going and taking, you know, the time to go. Uh, even it's the busiest time of, um, of the year for me, but this is a, I, this is a got to. Uh, yeah, so my, my dad did too, Liz. And, um, you didn't see the sled at the DT? I just now saw the sled, so if y'all miss it, but. But I'll tell I'll tell y'all more about it when I get close to going. But I, you know it's gonna cut down, of course, on my production of my laser stuff because I'll miss a whole week. But it just has to be, you know. So I'm trying to do what I gotta do. <laughs> um, yeah, it is terrible, Dana. It is. Um, I mean, they can take it out. It could come back. You know, all that stuff. They did take it out, but they didn't. They didn't get it all. They couldn't get it all. Um, that's right, Lori. So. Yeah, it's it's a it's a bad deal, and they, him and uh, my mother in law, stepmother in law, they are the most active seventy year old people you ever meet. Their social calendar is like <laughs> crazy. They're very active people, and then this happened, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, oh, Rhonda, yeah, we will definitely be praying for you, but thank y'all for the prayers. Um, it's just. Is what it is. I just hadn't said anything about it at all. Um, but look at my mittens. <laughs> They're so cute. And you know, I was just thinking about this. Why did I not think to do this? I could have put them back to back. Like, I could have covered two and I could have glued them together like that. <laughs> the things you think about after the project. Oh goodness! See, it's very, it's it's common. It's more common than you think, but um, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna cut up until that time, and of course, when I get back, I'll cut a little more. But um, you know, the month of December is pretty much like I can't really ship anything because you know it's gonna get crazy. Oh, where'd my elf legs go? <laughs> I lost my leg. Oh, goodness. 57. That is so young. Um, yeah, th please keep us in your prayers. Like I said, he's in good spirits. Um, you know, he's just trying to do what he can every day. Um, so, anyway. So, there's my mittens. Here's my beanie. <laughs> Toboggan. <laughs> Look. I almost did the toilet paper roll thing. Y'all know we did the toilet paper with the gnome? I almost cut down a toilet paper roll today. I thought, how can I make a hat? And then I thought, oh, I'm going to use that fabric. So I used the fabric. And here's my little sled, my little scarf, and of course, my sled. That sled looks really cool. Oh, I got to put the string back on. So these little things have like a shoestring thing. And when you push it through, it has a little piece that pops up and it doesn't let it come out. So it's kind of cool. So I'm just going to put it back on. I'm not going to make a new one. My, I mean, this one's kind of cool. Just kind of put it back in there. But you could hang this on the tree, of course, after it's dried. And you could glue your mittens on and make it all stay. Or you could put this on your tiered tray and your little mittens and stuff and put it on there. And have like a little winter scene on your tiered tray. It's so cute. But yeah, it's perfect for Elf on the Shelf. I think it's the perfect size. But that stuff looks like real snow, y'all. Um, take the stocking and use a paper clip and make skates. Y'all are pushing it. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't have paper clip. Maybe, I don't know, I might. I'd have to, I gotta cut the... Now, see, I have to cut it off flat. Look at... <laughs> Look how little the shoe is. Some, that's some Olympic glittery uh, skates. Let me see if I got any paper clips. I know I do over there. I'm just thinking I had some. I do, but they're they're the colored ones. So this one's white. <laughs> I 
Oh, snow on the scarf. Yes. Look. <laughs> um, I got a, oh, I need to put, you know what I need to put on the scarf? I need to put the little buttons on the scarf, the little <sighs> snowflakes. I lost my train of thought. Where are the, what do I do with them? It's right here somewhere. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Oh, thank you, y'all, for the prayers. Snow on the scarf. Paint the boots black and put snow on them. Yeah, I need to. I, I might think about those boots. Dollar. Yeah, the sled came from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put... Gosh, these little things are so tiny. Oh, i got to show y'all my Santa. Yes. But I'm going to put snowflakes on my scarf at the end to match. Hold on. That one doesn't match. Oh, we'll just do a different one. These are all, I promise y'all, these little snowflakes, there's all different shapes of snowflakes. Okay. Get it right. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stage it and take a picture of it after it's dry tomorrow. But I'll show y'all my Santa. So yeah, this was in Stacy's uh, Wheelshire Collections. This was in her workshop. And look how pretty he is. Is he not beautiful? I just, this is probably one of my favorite projects I've ever done. I love him. Maybe a little block. Thank you, Maria. I try. I mean, sometimes it just pops in my head. And, and sometimes something inspires me to make something. And then I just, you know. So, but there's the... There he is. Isn't he pretty? And I, I like the way he looks like he was made to be on here. Like, he was all made at one time. Like, you can't tell that that's two different things. Like, I just love it. It's just like that old, natural, old world Santa. He's pretty. Isn't he beautiful? Um, but I love him. It's so pretty. But I did that in her workshop today. I was a guest crafter. And you can still get in her workshop if you want to. Um, she has printables. She's got, she's already done um, a couple of nights of stuff. But, and some of y'all are already in there. And Brooke from Refab is her other guest crafter. And um, she'll, she's doing something next week, I think. Um, so I did that today. But, um, but I, I posted a link earlier today. If you scroll down my page, you'll see it. If you still want to join, you can. But you get... Um, super cute printables and uh, she's doing crafts with the printables and um, for Christmas and ornament printables and stuff. There's my, there's my little scarf with my snowflakes and I may put some snow on there. I don't know. Make it fringy though. Thank y'all. I know I love him. He's probably one of my favorite crafts ever. I was super proud, and I it, it didn't tu it turned out a lot prettier in my, than it did in my mind. I was like, I know I want to do this and this, and then it was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. But thank y'all very much. But y'all, I hope you be on the lookout for the sled. See if it's no, it's not dry, but I'm gonna put it on here anyway, and show y'all the. Let me just hold it on there. And a scarf. Get it all on here so y'all can see. Look how stinking cute. Look how stinking cute this is. <laughs> and it's just, I mean, I made this from scraps. And then the little mittens from the Dollar Tree and the sled from the Dollar Tree. So cute. So, so cute. Uh... Dana, Dana, you have to contact Dana about the cups. Isn't this cup super cute? Oh, my gosh. I have some talented moderators, y'all. But Dana made this, my moderator. Um, oh, the snowman. He is over here. Hold on. I hadn't hold on a minute, and I'll show you the snowman. Hello. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> um, so see my little sled and all of its parts match the snowman. Super cute. 
<laughs> Let me put that there. So this is the blanket also from Walmart. Still have all this left. But this, this is the hat that we made and it's on a tag. This is Monday night we did this. So it's on the tag shape from Dollar Tree and I crackled it and that's just that blanket from Walmart. Um, and this is just a cute way to have all your little decor stuff match if you want to be matchy matchy. Um, yeah, be looking for the sled. I mean, you could do so much with these little sleds. You could put it, like somebody said, put a napkin on that little seat or whatever that part's called. Um, you could paint something on it, a snowman on it. It'd be super cute. Um, yes, candy. I have already, they sold out so super fast and there was a lot of them too, y'all. And I, they sold out so super fast and I got on, me, on the website immediately and ordered more candlesticks. So hopefully they'll ship tomorrow, I'm hoping. And they'll be here next week and I will restock the trees. So don't worry about the trees because I will restock the trees. I was like, what's going on with my scissors? Um, oh, y'all, I could have put jingle bells on my sleigh. My sled. Look, where do you put jingle bells on a sled? Do you put them on a sled? Dana doesn't have an Etsy page. I'm going to make her a Facebook page for her cups. I'm, I'm determined to do that for her. Um, but you can, you can message her. When you see her name, just click on her name, Dana Merritt. And she, um, if you message her, she will talk to you about her cups. Um, so, yes. Look at my sled. My little, little mittens. Ah, my mittens. They're just, they're just balancing up top because all my snow is not dry. So, all right, let me turn them over real careful. And there's my little hat and my little scarf but i'm gonna um i'll stage it so y'all can see it better it's just it's got the uh, no bells on the sled elaine said um so i will i'm gonna let all this dry overnight with the snow on it and then i'll take pictures in the morning of the little sled he's super cute a rusty bell yes i don't i don't have any little rusty ones but i need to rust some Put the bells on a string. She made my gnome cup. Yes, I have a gnome cup too that she's made for me. It's super cute. Candles, are you talking about? Candles, candles, candles. Uh, what did I say about candles? Yes, Dana Merritt for the cups. Comment something, Dana, so they'll know who you are. Um, She is... She's my moderator that helps me. Her and Tammy Coxwell and Kaylee, uh, Kaylee Elizabeth on here are my moderators. They've been my moderators for close to two years. I love them dearly. They're three of my best friends that I've never met before, and they are wonderful people. And I love them so, and I couldn't do this without them because they help me so very much. Um, the bells. Oh, yes, I have a video of the bells. The bells are pretty easy. Um, they're just three layers, and th of course, this layer back, this the middle layer is, I just stained, and then I just stained these, and then sanded them, and glued them together. But I have a video for it too. I promise y'all, I'm gonna try to get the videos together. I just, it's just been crazy around here. So yes, um, order the candles. We're going to order the candles, y'all. I don't know what. It, Candlestick. Oh, yes. I've already ordered them. After they sold out tonight, I got right on the website and ordered more candlesticks. So, yes. I have ordered more candlesticks, and I hope they pack them and ship them tomorrow. Oh, Kaylee, you're sweet. So, yeah, candlesticks for the trees. Sorry. I must have stopped talking in the middle of that sentence. But, um, put a bell on the scarf. Okay. I may have to do it, like, after everything dries, and I kind of put it on there, and then put the bell on. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Oh, sh you fell asleep? Sh Shelly, we made a sleigh while you were sleeping and a beanie hat and some mittens and a scarf to go on the sled. So cute. And I may, I want to put a tag or something on here that says like, let it snow or something. 
Santa up close. He is so cute. It's so pretty. Is that close? So pretty. But I love, he, he just looks like he was made to go on there. So pretty. So pretty. And then the, a bell, and then the greenery. So pretty. I love him. So y'all get to look at him. Uh-oh. My lampshade tree is going to go down. Stay up there. Reindeer video yet, yeah. Judy? No, but I like I said, I've I've got um I've got it done. I just got to edit it out and do the voiceover. But yes, I have a whole video of where I painted every one of these. But is he not the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I just love it. Look, I even painted the back. <laughs> um, Jody, I I probably won't make the exact same thing again. Um, cause I did that as a guest crafter in her pay, it was a paid, it's a paid workshop that, she, you know, people pay to be in. So, um, I really can't do it again exactly like that, you know, cause they paid to be in the group. So, um, <laughs> Shelly, the rich hunter gets you every time. The Santa's from Walmart. He's an ornament. Hey, Sandy, thank you for sprinkling. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to. Let my snow dry overnight, and um, I will take pictures in the morning. And there's Kaylee's little shop down there. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Hey, Mandy, with Western Grace Home Decor. Y'all go see Mandy stuff. She released a bunch of wood stuff yesterday, last night, and it's so pretty. Um, her husband cuts her his hearse out with a saw, and she has like a big jingle bell. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's beautiful. So anyway, so I'm going to hop off. I might add some bells, and then I'll take pictures in the morning of my little sled. So y'all be on the lookout for the sled because, you know, don't be sleeping on the sled. It's so cute. It's very cute. Um, oh, well, Linda just ordered three sets of reindeer. <laughs> They're so adorable, too. Um, all right, guys. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being on my page. If you're new, thank you for being here. I hope you follow and all the things. And uh, I come on Monday nights and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. And I will see y'all Monday because I will be packing orders tomorrow and probably all weekend. <laughs> so anyway, so I will see y'all Monday. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Love y'all.